Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true and welcome back to Stellaris. Where today, today's the day where I think we have to put our cards on the table. We've made some excellent progress versus the Athari and the Rhino Turtles, but to be honest, their power is already as good as broken. They managed to repair up a bit nicely, but 5,000 strength, we can leave a small fleet to take care of them. That's not a big deal, and there's nothing we can do to each other until. 2346. Fine. I think instead, uh, yeah, we need to turn our attention to the Federation over here. Once upon a time, I dreamed of maybe joining this Federation, but then I thought, no, let's not flipping bother with that. Let's just basically have all of their territory off them. Also, before I do that, the Spectre is kind of in the middle of them. But that's fine, because I've got some friends that could tell me all about that. Let's just go over to the contacts here. Here we are, a curator order. Terrifying pumpkin head creatures. I need to have a chat with you. So yes indeed, the wraith. What can we learn about that? So spectral wraith disturbing creatures, if they're creatures at all. We consider them a rare and extraordinarily efficient natural disaster. Okay, so a red wraith. Yeah, that's what we're taking on, a red one. And uh, the Red Wraiths have a frequency of 4,101 hertz. Their light is synchronized with that of a Class M star. Their ability to avoid conventional weaponry is weakened in systems with Red Dwarfs. Now, is that what you're actually in right now and have been hanging out in for some time? Because if so, that is a Class M star. So, relatively speaking... This is a good opportunity to potentially send my main fleet, if I could just join them all together, to deal with this bastard. Let's just get their opinion though, how would we do against it? And I suppose you might actually stand a chance if you combined your entire fleet. Not an easy victory, mind you, but at least it's within the realm of possibility. Fine. So we've got a shot, but we'd need pretty much everything we have. On the other hand, however... We do have one advantage. We know it's got no shield. It's nothing but armor and actual health. Now, I've got plenty of plasma on my fleet, so potentially my fleets might be able to melt it pretty effectively. We'd have to see. Now, if I want to actually claim this space for my own, and yeah, the plan is basically reinforce up these three entry points so the birds can't backstab me. Then I just invade up here and push them to this point right here to also claim a natural wormhole, which does seem kind of badass, it must be said. I'm going to need to claim this territory. That's going to be actually not as expensive as you might think, because I've got this territory here and this territory here, which means loads of these territories are only going to be costing me 35 influence. However, I do need a bit of influence to make that happen. And very conveniently, these guys right here, yeah, cards on the table... I'm very sorry, starfish creatures. I'm actually coming for you. So, that's going to give me plus uh, 0 0.5 influence a month. Lovely. And, oh, they will not forget this betrayal. Oh, dear. They're not keen. I don't think they'll dare attack me, though. They're very, very weak. And as for you, same deal. I'm going to declare rivalry against these guys. Because that's even flipping more. I thought we were friends! So did I, but in all fairness, the moment I attack the starfish, I feel bad about attacking the starfish, but here we flipping are. The moment I attack the starfish, obviously it's a federation, they'll actually be pulled into the war too. I'm hoping they won't get involved, but it doesn't actually matter. Because, yeah, we're already... Oh, hello. What's going on here? Oh, you're just saying we need to extend the deal, and that is 5,000 credits. Yeah, go on then. Keeping uh, the actual uh, research happening as fast as possible, that's a good idea. So these stations are currently upgrading. It's going to take a little while to do, but that's all absolutely fine. We can just basically... Actually, you know what? I'll also rename these so I know what's what. So I've just named those figure defense outposts 1, 2, and 3. Not the system, just the actual stations. So when they show up down here, that will all be fine. And oh, yeah. Actually, is this the first thing we've ever... Bloody hell, that's the first actual... Uh, yeah, I think a star... What is it? Fortress. We've actually set up. I didn't even realise that was the very first one. So down here, we've got ourselves 4,500 power. And it's not even in our style because, yeah, we actually took it over. That's the mollusk style. So it just stays in the mollusk style. You can't just kind of turn it into one of yours. So 4,500 probably plenty enough, to be honest. 
But let's actually get this thing pumping out some power. So off-world trading company. And then trading hub. Trading hub. Trading hub some more. And then... Yeah, probably one gun battery. Just for actually, you know, 4,500. That's probably safe. And yeah, screw it. Let's just turn this into a massive energy production facility. It's got the listening outpost. We've got good visibility in this part of the world. And sorry, this one. What else do we have? Actually, I did see some people in the comments saying, oh, why are you not going for the deep space black site? Um, because it produces Unity 1.85? Like, that doesn't seem very good to me. And sure, it's actually got the system modifier like governing ethics attraction up 25%, but I'm spiritualist. I don't have any problem with ethics attraction. Unrest minus 20 is sort of nice, but not spectacular. I just feel like that's... That doesn't feel particularly significant to me at all. So that's nice. This little area down here is nice and secure. Just in case the stupid space runners have decided to come and give it a go, we should be okay. Maybe I could put down some more platforms there. Okay, at this point, we're now gaining... Oh. 6.16 influence a month and we need to use that to basically lock down all of this sooner rather than later now that also means i need to draw a line somewhere because i don't really want to more bloody parts you see this is ah uh, do i want any of this and also who's contacting me and why Ooh, offer of associate status um to be honest why not i think you're the guys who are yeah you're the guys who are down here with twitter like, associate status is fine. Actually, mm, there's no point. I'm just going to turn that down, just in case it messes with someone else's relationship. And that is non-aggression against the Free Polismus League. Very gladly indeed. And um, would you believe, yes indeed, the Starfish and all the members of the actual Federation have decided to call off the Migration Treaties. That's fine. I think I've already got members of their species throughout my empire. I don't need any more. That's not a problem in the slightest. So... What else are we going to do here? Yeah, I need to figure out a point to actually lay down an actual, yeah, proper station. Because I don't really want to be wasting huge amounts of uh, influence, like controlling all these areas. Like, this is not much. I mean, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, yeah, this one. And then after that, you just move straight onto here. And then I'll basically just blockade up here. And this down here, screw it. If pirates generate in, then pirates generate in. I'll just basically build a nice star base down here. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world anyway, because just in case the dwarves start expanding in this direction and eat this whole empire, it would not be a bad idea for me to have a nice, solid line here. And in theory, later on, I could actually then start turning that down and take the rest of this, but for the time being, I need to be using my influence to capture all of this. In fact, I'm pretty sure, what's the date the war can actually begin against these guys? September of 2340. We're already flipping close. Ah, uh, yes, and two other important things I had actually forgotten to do. Number one, ship design. I think we actually are due a few upgrades. Yes, indeed we are. We've got advanced railguns ready to go on the basic interceptors, together with... Uh, Power up the reactor a little bit. Level 4. Level 4. Oh, yeah. This is starting to get as good as it flipping gets. Together with... Uh, oh, yeah. Advanced afterburners. Flipping love it. And advanced shields as well that we can most definitely afford. Very, very good indeed. Can I actually afford this? That's a little bit over. Probably best we just go for... Yeah, the Plasteel, because people are saying bonus power converts into a very slight increase in firepower. So, that'll do for now, because at some point we'll also upgrade weapons and whatever. So, yeah, best to do that now, so there's less actual cost to respec later. There we go, plenty of spare power. I've just put one plasma weapon on the intercepts as well, just so they can, you know, keep doing something after the shields are down too, because why not? And thank you comments for reminding me, yes indeed, I kind of forgot to mention that the War Doctrine was unlocked by completing Supremacy, which gives us a bit more tactical flexibility. The only one we can't actually use is No Retreat, you have to be a militarist or hive mindy thing for that to actually be the case. Though it's really cool, disengagement chance reduction plus 100%, so your ships never engage even if the enemy will, but as a result 33% more fire rate and emergency FTL jump cooldown plus 50% as well. So basically yeah. 
You can't really retreat anymore, but you hit a lot harder. Uh, you start off by default by defense in depth, so basically home territory fire rate plus 10%. Nice little bonus. Alternatively, there is hit and run, so combat disengagement chance plus 33%, emergency FTL damage risk minus 25%. Certainly good for skirmishing. My favorite is rapid deployment. Sublight speed plus 25% and weapon range up by 10%. Very, very good indeed. The sublight speed alone, to my mind, makes that super worthwhile, especially during offensive wars. So I'm actually going to make that our war doctrine for the time being, and everything is generally lovely. Because that is just going to make our fleet so much faster at moving around the Empire. It's just going to be lovely. Oh, and here's interesting. So the horrifying pirates happen to be off cooldown for the raiding. So... I could just send these lads in first just to soften them up, but to be honest, how much is it going to cost? 3,000. You know what? Just so we can see it in action, how about you just head over there and see what goes on? Because this just seems kind of hilarious at this point, yes. So they are entering the orbit of Heavy Anchor, moving to the beer system. And you notice, by the way, this is not a declaration of war because no one really knows I was the one that did it. So this here is just flipping marvellous. Not because they really need these guys to destroy the enemy fleet, though if they happen to actually destroy that White Crush fleet, all the flipping better. More because they're going to basically go and hopefully bombard a world. If they bombard a world, they'll get rid of the armies for me. It'll just speed up my invasion and make it more likely I can achieve all my goals before war exhaustion kicks in and gets too extreme. So it's not a bad idea. And to my mind, like, 3,000 energy is pretty cheap, all things considered. Now, everyone also needs to be improved and also uh, needs to be healed up too. Everyone just basically... Head to a good space where you can actually heal up, please. So you guys are now just... Yep, everyone is now being repaired. <laughs> Lovely. And as soon as you're done being repaired, you can be upgraded to... How much are the upgrades going to cost? Uh, that's reinforce. Upgrade. Ouch. I've just made some fairly big changes. By the way, I know this general is now stuck at three stars, which kind of bugs me, but... Because he's got Scout and Fleet Logistics and he's three stars, I'm just going to basically let him continue serving until he dies of old age, because he's 112 right now. So I'm just going to leave him as is, it's fine. So, we've got Fleet 2. Now, this here is, yeah, this can actually be a nice defense fleet. So let's actually give that a new name. So that there is now Shield Fleet. We'll basically just put that wherever any form of defense is required. So potentially, that might be the force we decided to leave around here, just in case the actual flipping, yeah, rhinos do anything stupid. Well, I've got my main force down here, because we've already got over here, here we are, the general security fleet, 15,000 strong, right there. I could reinforce that, because there's a few empty spots in it. Okay, upgrade this force here. You upgrade this force here. That is going to... Ouch. That's going to be a bit on the expensive side. Shield fleet, you upgrade first because we can afford it immediately. So you guys just get on with upgrading, please. And, ah, he needs to actually go and find himself a station that's got a shipyard for the upgrade. Uh, the liberation fleet is not so important. What I should probably do is I should send the cabbage liberators and the general security fleet to deal with the wraith. So I could take that out, probably, then do repairs, then consider declaring war. Assuming these guys aren't going to declare war on me, but right now, they can't. They have no reason to. Uh, unless, of course, you've got the ideological thing. No, they've got no way of declaring war, so I'll know if they're planning it. However, influence is starting to sneak in a little bit. Are you actually busy, by the way? What are you doing right now? Yeah, you're just actually uh, building research stations. You are building... You are supposed to be building the star base here, because this, uh, yeah, this area is worth taking. And then we'll just reinforce that. Ah, someone actually killed these pirates. Marvellous. I think I actually gave these guys enough time to actually rebuild, which is really, really good. So uh, that's very, very nice indeed. And yeah, my science vessel is... Are you not doing anything right now? You no, know, you're just chilling out down there. Uh, what do we not know? Because... Hang on. Have we still not found the Xenophobe Fallen Empire? Nope, there we go. Materialists and the Spiritualists and the Enigmatic Observer and the Caretakers. But no actual... Okay, where, just in theory, could they be? Where have we not seen? Well, I suppose, actually, 
there was this fleet over here that we were never quite sure what the bloody hell they were about, so... It's not impossible they're somewhere around there. And there's this system over here. I don't know exactly what that system is. Okay, I'm sending my science vessel over here just to bloody see what's going on because I can't help but notice that that cannot be the most efficient way for you to... Actually, I suppose it is. There's actually, by an interesting quirk of the galaxy, basically no way for any of these people... Oh, that's really interesting. Now that's really interesting. I hadn't noticed that. The only path is here. There is no path between all these empires and here. Ooh. Now that makes life very interesting. So if I could just find a good place to hold out, like say for example here and here, I could basically hold out here against the, um, the dwarves and then basically eat their entire empire because no one's going to object to a mission of containment. No one at all. Ha. Huh. This is suddenly intriguing. Yeah, I might have to think about that in time, because there's a bit of a diplomatic mess around here. Still, send the science vessel off. Let's figure out if maybe, because it looks to me like, yes, yeah, something appears to be putting pressure here. Because why has this system not blobbed out over here? It's almost as if something's here. Like, say, for example, Fallen Empire of the Xenophobes. Very intriguing. And healthcare goes straight back on again, and I'll leave recycling off for now. I think that's fine. I'll save up the energy just in case of emergencies. And we've got ourselves... Ooh, hello. You want a non-aggression pact, do you? And more non-aggression pacts. I'll gladly non-aggression with all of you. Right, here we go. To boldly go... <laughs> Completely pointless, but actually... Ooh. Hmm... No, finish it off. Let's get Discovery done, because the last one, data bank uplinks, is actually okay, because then we start actually uh, adding Unity into my assist research. And I'm assisting research on three different planets right now, so that's actually not that bad. Now, Cabbage Liberators are also, yep, ready to be upgraded. We've got the money for that, so they're moving over there. This fleet is going to take a while, and in addition, we're going to need another... No, don't hit that reinforce button just yet. We're okay for the time being. Do it later. The, yeah, the actual fleet cap is going up very, very nicely indeed. I don't actually have quite enough overall fleet capacity to fund all of these fleets up to their limit. In fact, I need to be a little bit careful of that. Okay. Are these stations up yet, by the way? Yes, indeed. So, Orim, Kasmalian, and Baranak, or indeed, as they are listed here, figure defence, it is 010203. It just doesn't quite fit on the outliner properly. What's your strength? 400 odds. Which is not great, but it's only 600 apiece to upgrade to Starhold. Do I need to even flipping bother? What's the strength you guys have got? Because I don't think you guys have got much. Ooh. Okay, you've got 6,000 in that. But that's the Starfish. Okay, and there's Fleet Logistics. Good, I'm glad about that. Other than the Starfish, what else is there here? Like, that's another 4,000. Okay, so the starfish potentially have maybe 10,000 across everything. So this fleet might need... Actually, it's being upgraded right now. Once it's upgraded, we'll check on its uh, actual strength. I am going to need a proper fleet up north. Or at least a fleet ready to go up north. But are they really going to counterattack? Okay, I am going to upgrade... Or at least I will as soon as I can afford it. I'm assuming the fleet's... Yeah, all the fleet's currently being upgraded. So, yeah, my fleet strength should go up significantly once that's done. Shield fleet has a strength of 6,000. Okay, shield fleet could... Uh, where's shield fleet going? Shield Can't fleet could head up here. Activated. Probably isn't actually worth it. Mm. And research agreement. Yeah, sure. That's very generous to you, by the way, but screw it. I generally just always say yes to research agreements. We're only six years away from a potential counterattack from the Rhino Turtles. Shield Fleet needs to stay here. So, Shield Fleet, position yourselves at Medak and just basically be ready to hold off. Cabbage Liberators, currently being upgraded, yeah. Let them finish upgrading, don't move them yet. But after that, we need to start moving into position. How's my current influence? A little bit slow, to be honest, but we'll have to flip and make do. You're currently... Wait, have we got... Do we own that? Apparently we own that, but for whatever reason, the Empire's a really weird shape there. Uh, right, you... 
get on with building mining stations and research stations right there. You, you have no orders. Get over here. Same business, please. And we do indeed. Actually, we've gone up to 22. Lovely. This star base also needs to be upgraded. This is going to be the southern outpost. Now, that raiding fleet I hired, they're still on the move right now. They're heading over to... Let's just have a little look at this. Oh! 11,000. And I believe the combined starfish strength was about 10,000. So, potentially, these guys might just, for just 3,000 energy, clear out these bastards for me. Now, it said they were going to... Heavy anchor, what do you want? Minerals for comms, yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, heavy anchor, I'm sure I've seen that around. There we are. Heavy anchor. So this world, somewhat but not massively defended, which is good. That'll keep them busy. So as a result of that... They are going to be heading right over there. And if these fleets actually retaliate, this could work out very, very nicely for me. It could soften up the starfish so much we don't need to worry about the northern frontier at all. Also, don't forget, we can probably actually take down this observation outpost because, tragically, there's not actually anything left to um, observe. So uh, they kind of all blew up. Wait, are we actually getting... If I disband this, I'm actually going to be losing... I probably shouldn't have disbanded that. <laughs> I kind of assumed I wouldn't be getting uh, actual society research for that anymore, but apparently I was from just studying the dead nuclear landscape. Also, a governor has died. That's very, very tragic indeed. Hang on, let's just quickly check that. Ah, that's my main governor. He's been around for a while. Also, don't forget to upgrade the bloody, uh, yeah, the Empire Imperial Complex thing. That thing's very, very cool indeed. Uh, yep, governor. We're gonna need a brand new governor. So, who wants the job? Who wants the job here? Environmental engineer, terrible. A grown up bringing, terrible. Resilient, not particularly important. And eager, not important. Okay, not one good person at all. Alright, marvellous. Well done. Um, in that case, I guess we'll go for the agrarian upbringing guy. Purely because bonus food is converted into, yeah, bonus pop growth. So recruit this guy. And, yeah, food suddenly goes nuts. So pop growth has now gone up from, yeah, 10% to 17%. So whenever we get new planets down, I guess that's useful for that reason. Also, as it turns out over on Queptilian Prime, everyone's really, really happy because they were actually being enslaved by the Rhino Turtles, so I've actually liberated them. So that's just flipping marvellous. I feel good about myself thanks to that. In fact, Queptilium is pretty much ready to move straight over. So let's get you into here, and let's also bring Medak in as well. Marvellous. So all of that moves over. Very, very good indeed. In fact, I might actually... If I merge these two together, then you can share a governor, which should actually have benefits for everyone. So let's just actually move this to here, and then to... No, I just want to merge you into here. I'm sure you can. I know you can do this. And there we go. Now I can actually start merging. So now we can actually start transferring these systems in. Transfer, transfer. So human mining colony no longer exists. Instead, that's all part of liberation, which kind of looks like a horse rearing up. If it had a really, really giant dolphin tail on the back, which is marvellous. So now liberation is handling all of those planets, which is really, really good indeed. And then warm sands just exists on its own over here. Limitless potential and front line, well at least limitless potential in its two worlds are also fully grown. So I should probably shove them into sectors, but we're okay for the time being. We've now got three spare actual planets to go complete. down. And I think I know where I'd like them to be as well, because we actually haven't set down a new planet in a while. Because we've got this lovely triple planet system right here, including Betherium right there, a decent enough science world here and a slightly terrifying, glitchy nuclear world here. So that one's a bit of a fixer-upper. We might need to actually do some research to actually, you know, restore the climate and whatever. But still, not bad. Okay, and the military fleets are ready to go. Cabbage Liberators. How about you guys? Yeah, head over here. Report to this system, please. Uh, that should be absolutely fine. And someone's actually speaking to me. You want to give me a bit of energy. Yeah, go on then. I'll take a bit of energy. Why not? I should probably actually be selling my research agreements because they're very valuable at this point. So I could probably get some very good money that way. In fact, actually, let's give that a go. Yep, a 30-year research agreement with the Raxar. 
they like that. They won't actually give me one in return, but... For a big pile of money, let's... Oh. I think the Raxar might be a bit on the poor side, to be honest. And also, there was a completely uneventful Comet Pass. But that's fine. That's nice. It was pretty. You know what? Screw it. I'll give you a research agreement for a tiny bit of money, some energy, and an active sensor link for 30 years. Boom. I like you guys. Now, you admittedly, I'm also a bit jealous of you because you're psychic and I want to be psychic. But it hasn't shown up yet on the text. Oh, I think they might have realised we're coming. They have started to really double down on the actual, yeah, star bases. 5,600 strength there. And they've actually managed to build up a federation fleet of 7,000 strength. Yeah. Okay, the starfish know what's going on and they are remilitarizing fast. Luckily, the raiding fleet appears to have just about arrived. So I really want to keep my eyes on this because potentially this could actually knock out one of their major fleets before this even begins. Because I think the combined fleets of the entire starfish faction is pretty much what we're actually looking at here in the raiding fleet. So they'd be very evenly matched. This could be a very good matchup. Oh yeah, the raiding fleet's actually getting into it right now. I had heard they were just planning to, yeah, move in and take on the odd planet, but actually they're destroying uh, mining bases, which isn't actually what I'd like them to do. That's actually a bit of an annoyance, to be honest, because I'll need to rebuild those later. <laughs> But I guess I didn't actually technically give the marauding, terrifying creatures any actual instruction, so I guess I'm kinda to blame for this one. Now, I have saved up a giant pile of influence, partly thanks to my rivalries. Let's see how much I can actually immediately get locked down here. So, claims, claims, claims. I want to have this. That's 42. 28. 28? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to the fact it's rivals, it's a lot cheaper. This is 140, 182. Little bit on the expensive side. In fact, we're actually... Ooh. Okay. Maybe we turn all those off for the time being. Cancel that. Okay. As we're a little bit limited, at least for now, and I'm unlikely to be able to get the whole thing, what I want to do really is get up to here and make sure we've secured the wormhole. So let's have a look. See, and also make sure we secure the megastructure. So that's 28. That's also a 28. That's a 42 and a 56. And that's going to be a 56. Yeah, then they start getting a little bit more on the expensive side. That's a 56. That is... That I literally can't afford. Hmm. Okay. That's a little bit concerning. I can take this one. Okay. I could basically just look to start off by seizing a bunch of territory around here. Because they don't actually have any star bases apart from no docks over here. So what if I were to say, actually, the important thing is to seize everything that's actually a star base in this part of the world. So maybe... Mm. Okay, what's the important thing here? Turn off Aswiri. Then that's 210. Then I still can't afford this. But I could actually mysteriously afford no docks, just sort of on its own. Yeah, let's get those claims in for now. And then keep going. So that's a good bunch of claims in immediately. But because of the claims, they're going to start hating us more. Yeah, they're actively hostile. Tabby people emit an aura of unpleasantness. Oh, that's not true. Oh, I feel bad I've let down my starfish friends. But I kind of want all their territory and their mega structure for my own. We've got, ooh. Okay. Hello, Rome. What do you want? We understand your archaeologists have been studying the ancient Vultuum civilization for some time. Understandable, their territory once covered a large part of what today constitutes the tenets of Tabby. Their territory also extended into what is now Pax Romana. Brutia archaeologists have recovered a number of unique artifacts. Okay. How much exactly are we talking about? Did we discuss a price or did I just say yes and give you a blank check? Because I don't know how much that just cost me. <laughs> but hopefully it wasn't too much. Now, one other important thing to check out here. If I were to declare war, would anyone be interested in coming along? No, the Romans can't even be asked because they're associate members. And I don't think I can actually... Wait, what? What? We found the Aether Drake. Oh. 
Right, so... We figured out why no one ever came in here then. As it turns out, it's the Ether Drake. Now, did you manage to... Right, you haven't actually managed to... I, I'd run! I'd, I'd really run, actually. Because <laughs> it's a... Yeah, yeah, I'd... I'd, I'd... Oh, dear. So, Ether Drake found one of them. Wasn't the xenophobe... Maybe I just misclicked when I said the galaxy and there isn't a xenophobe fallen empire out there. Because I do not know where the blood it could be. Also, ooh. Neutronium. Have I got loads of neutronium in my empire? Because I think I... Oh, I've got three neutronium. That's so nice. Also, physics research plus 20% if I have to have dark matter. I've got a few black holes in my empire. I might do, but no, screw it. Plasma cannon. Plasma cannon every time. That's a big important upgrade. And people are willing to pay big money for it too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm willing to sell you some of that. Thank you very much. So, thanks to that, I've got armor hit points up by 20% and another one of them to sell. Lovely. So, I've actually got some good neutronium ore inside my territory. I think that's around the, yeah, the neutron stars. And I've got a few of them. So, I have been lucky with that at least. Good, good, good. Excellent. I'm thrilled. Now, how's this raiding fleet getting on? It's just over here. And it is bombing this world into the ground. Just, yeah, basically getting its armies out of the way. I'm not sure what this fleet's planning to do once it's done. And the starfish appear to have no interest in responding to this threat. The birds, meanwhile, appear to have no fleet at all that I'm aware of. Uh, and I've certainly got some visibility of their empire. And the raiders have... Hang on. The raiding fleet that the Rax Codium sent to the Gavis Empire after we encouraged them to do so has set a course back to the home system. Okay. But... That... Hang on. Um... Why am I being told about this? Because that's... Okay, I don't feel like that involved me, because that wasn't my raiding fleet, but whatever. Um, has this fleet also naffed off? No, this fleet is still there, and is not currently deciding to withdraw. Well, that's fine, I need some more time to actually charge up my influence anyway. So, while we're waiting for that to happen, yeah, this rather cool system, rather all these territories down here that are all really cool, this has got to be the one down here, so hang on. Yeah, this first one with the Betharium. The Betharium is very, very nice indeed. I'd like to get some of that down. So just, ooh, alien pets. Alien pets are adorable. Uh, yeah. Let's get something down over here. That is uh, Savannery. Fine. So I need basically some desert dwellers. And hang on. What's the most important thing on this planet? It is probably a blend of... Actually, there's a lot of minerals. If I have any plus mineral or plus energy desert dwellers, that'd be good. And plus science -y desert dwellers in particular. Ooh. Sciencey sociology sorts. Yeah, I know I've got some of them. In fact, idea. The Jarzajans. I need as many of them inside my empire as possible. Because I want these bastards to be numerous so I can train armies. Because they are very strong. And very strong makes for very effective armies. So I need to train a Jarzajan uh, colony ship. Get that down and get these guys growing as fast as possible. Here we go. Over here in the now sectorized Krant, Post Jatori does indeed have some of these bastards. So, Conley Ship, and I would like the Jars Jams. Yep. Boom. Very strong and natural sociologists and desert preference. Not quite perfect because, yes, yeah, Savannah's ideal for them, but. It will do. Very, very nice indeed. I think we've also got an election underway. We've got ourselves... Ooh. Okay. The Admiral for the General Security Fleet is apparently a favourite. And I can't really afford to influence this. I could do it once, but I need to save up the influence for the war. Admittedly, he's 119, so if we have to replace him with a new Admiral, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's also go back over to claims here. So, what do we have claims against, and why is that still there if I haven't actually... Right, turn... Oh, okay, and you actually need to click them off if you don't want them to be there anymore. Fine, so I don't... 
Which ones are not an, an Asari? Okay, fine. So, no, turn that off. Fine. So, all of those, those are territories where I have one claim. The ones that are currently highlighted in uh, blue. So, probably what I want to do is... I will get to you in a second, whoever you are. Oh, screw it. Who exactly you want to pay me energy for that? Uh, honestly, I don't need energy. I need someone who's going to pay minerals. Sorry, we need something a bit more real. And we did indeed actually elect that admiral to do the job. Fine. So the general security fleet needs a new admiral. Do not forget about that. That's important. And absolute perfect timing. We've got a terrifying, horrifying fungus mouth creature. But sublight speed plus 20%. Combined with rapid deployment, my fleets are going to be flipping soaring. Alright, have fun in this war. I think you're going to have a great time. Ah, downside is, apparently, we were only making a massive profit in minerals because the last guy was, yeah, plus, what is it, 10, 20% to minerals. So now, we're actually lacking in minerals. So we need to get some actual mineral mining down like flipping now, people. Well, there's no easy way to do that. Droning optimizations would help a lot, but I can't afford the influence right now. I'm too busy preparing for the war against these bastards. So, we might have to leave it. Also, have you just naffed off over here? Where are you going exactly? Entering the orbit of... Moving to the Bovetier system. Yeah, fine. Entering orbit of M4J88. I think they're naffing off home. I think they've decided they're done. Which is probably fine. They've probably done enough damage. It's just we're going to wait for them to make sure they've actually left the system. Okay. We've actually got more things coming in here. And also apparently there needs to be some improvements. Yeah, fine. I'll gladly improve everything. Go on then. I probably shouldn't because I'm spending money I don't have right now. If anyone would like to give me a giant pile of money for Neutronium Ore. No. No, 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 no. I need money. Not energy. Alright, money. I've got a bit of a money problem right now. Actually, am I still trading away with that... Um. The trading enclave. This time, don't forget about that. Actually, we're not right now. I think I must have already cancelled it at some point. And the spice they're selling for a thousand is... That is happiness plus five percent. Go on. Happiness plus five percent for just a thousand energy. Yeah, that's given us a little boost right there to productivity. So that was worth doing. Right, well, if we need minerals, there's one reliable way to get it. Which is, you bastards are probably sitting on some mineral reserves. So, how about... We help ourselves to some of yours. In addition, their fleets are currently fairly scattered. This works, and you want to give... Ah! That's what I'm willing to sell for. That I'm willing to sell. Absolutely for a giant pile of minerals. Well done. You came with the right offer. Now, other thing to bear in mind, the gateway that we opened... So, in theory, their fleet can just warp straight over here. If it does... What's our answer to that? <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Uh, actually, no, I should... I assume I've already closed my borders to them, right? Yes, I have, but presumably they can... Can I actually keep that gateway closed forcibly against people who I'm at war with if I don't want them to come through the gateway? Or is it now just stuck open? That I don't know. Right, claims. One more time, back to claims. How am I going to arrange this? Because that's just 28, that's just 42, that's also 42. So if what I was to do is, yeah, take maybe... Ooh, that's nice, that's 11 right there. If I could take that, and then I could take this. Yeah, that's worth 70. And then, if I was to hold this system, then bare minimum, I would have reunified the Empire, and I would take, if I could just get... That's 84, and that's 42... If I could just get, uh, maybe, maybe this one off. Uh, that is, ah, uh, but Derelis is... Okay, leave, leave Scorum off. Yeah, just make the claim to Derelis. Ah, but if I make the claim to Derelis, I've got no way to actually access one side of my empire from the other. Fine, I do need to take Scorum. I just need to save up enough actual influence to take these two systems. Make that claim. That's fine. So we've got a good number of claims down here, including the megastructure. But the thing is, now that we're actually running a deficit, if I just invaded at this point, I would be able to start claiming these systems. That would sort out the deficit. I could sort out my deficit just basically by looting their territory. Like, that doesn't strike me as a bad idea. I mean, it is a bad idea, but it doesn't actually feel like a bad idea 
And even if I don't get to keep this territory over here, I could force my way into no docks. That wouldn't be a bad thing. And I could just temporarily hold this territory, assuming the Wraith doesn't wake up, which it might do. Yeah, everything could be bad. Research complete. We'll have to see about that. Oh! Two sets of research activating simultaneously has actually just knocked me straight over into the next tradition. Actually, that there might be a tradition, I believe. Oh, Juristial Armor. That's good. That's explosive. Yeah, explosives. I don't need that. Yeah, take the Juristial Armor. And you... Ah, still no Psychic. I was kind of hoping for Psychic. Claim influence cost down. That's going to take a long time to do. Star base capacity up by two is nice. Military academy. That's for planets. Uplift is fun. But I don't think we've actually got any pre-sapients. Fleet command up by 20 is okay. But that's very slow for what it is. Let's take galactic campaigns here. Just for safety. Are we ready to go in? Because I think we should be ready to go in here or so. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is going to be even more. So right now it's 877. It should jump up here. Or maybe not. Hang on. Allow science ships to assist research on colonies, increasing planetary production. I thought that was how that worked, but no matter. 877? 87? Okay, maybe I've misunderstood what that one bloody does. Ah, you see, this would have been good to take about five minutes ago. Interstellar Dominion. Claim influence cost down by 20%. That's nice. Yeah, honestly, I should have taken that one a while ago. I mean, I'd like to take the psionic ones, but it just can't be taken yet because, yeah, I'm just not ready for it. And I also can't take Colossus, tragically, because I actually need the Titans, and they just haven't shown up yet either. Though, now I've actually got the Citadel tech and the Battleship tech, it can show up at any time. I'm just waiting for it to make its appearance. Yeah, Interstellar Dominion, let's get this done. And thanks to that, oh yeah, 20, it's getting a lot flipping cheaper to start claiming these planets here. Oh, go on then, just to make sure we have it, you can have that. Made that claim nice and cheap. I think it's time. It's time to go in. It's 2344, let's just double check if anyone's planning to backstab me. These guys could attack me in two years, but Shield Fleet is going to stay close by to them. Shield Fleet will remain here. These forces here... All of these forces have 500 strength each is not much. Okay. Take a... Take one gun battery on each of you. I really should have actually upgraded these guys further already. But to be honest, the fig yard don't seem to have much in the way of strength. Them moving in quickly doesn't seem particularly likely. We've got time to build that up. And then we've got the two fleets here, here, and here... Ready to move in. I think we got this. Though actually there is... Ah, the Raiding Fleet. Which is, I assume... I think that's moving out. Yeah, because it's actually moving to a designation that matches up with the asteroids in its system. So they feel like they've done their job and they are leaving. Right. Time to get this done. Oh, you're so cute and I'm so sorry about this. Right. Declare war. We are here to enforce our claims. And nobody wants in. And this will indeed pull in the Infinite Pond and the Figyar Commonwealth. But honestly, I don't think they're really, you know, managing much here. We have declare, declare war. war. Have to How can you hope to defeat us when the spirits themselves are on our side? Look, I'm spiritualist too. Oh, this is a religious war. That's a concern. Right, I think I've actually just begun a war here. And what's the war called? It is the... Ooh, it's their little pact war. Very, very nice indeed. So, let's get everyone moving in here. So, my main fleet immediately moves in in this direction. Lovely. There's the Cabbage Liberators at strength 16,000. And General Security moves in here. So, let's see if there's any particular immediate movements from these guys. In particular, the two main fleets to watch out for are, yes indeed... So what are you doing? You are claiming you're planning to be attacking one of my star bases. How about you? Attacking Frontline Station. Right, so he's heading in the direction of Frontline. Good. That means we can catch him there. I don't know what star base these guys are going for, but presumably we'll be able to see momentarily. They are heading... Where are you going? They're heading over towards... Uh, Pishwiri. Or sorry, Ashwiri. Um... Hmm. 
what's your destination? You, go and claim this system while we're just trying to figure out what they're doing. And you are presumably, let's just quickly head over here. You are, you're heading north. They're attacking the Cabbage Liberators. Okay, they've changed their mind and they're now going for the Cabbage Liberators. Fine, in that case, um, where do we have our claims here? Hang on, manage the claims. We don't have, we've got some claims down. Not enough yet, fine. So none of this is claimed, so we may as well actually go. If they're going to be abandoning no docks, this is a good opportunity for me to swing through these systems and knock out their toughest station. So let's just actually head straight over in this direction. No, actually no, go this way if you'd be so kind, because I'd like you on the way through to knock out anything that's giving us minerals. Because you'll notice our deficit is closing as we start earning minerals. Not as many as I'd like, because of the slight slight issue that we actually like you know did kind of um hire people to blow up the stations we otherwise would have been able to utilize so we're gonna have to replace those ourselves still my fleet is strong it's good stuff someone decided to open their borders to me i'm guessing those guys don't like the mighty ducks given they decided to open their borders after i declared war on the infinite pond and this will be the beginning of the end for your pitiful nation tabby Oh, leave Tabby alone. Well, I suppose Tabby didn't leave you alone, so that's fair enough. So, we've already got these things there. Just check the Rafe hasn't woken up. Rafe is still asleep. Alright, so, you're heading over here. That's all fine. You guys, head in this direction, if you'd be so kind. White Crush is right here. What is White Crush doing? Is it... That's following White Crush. That is... That's a star base. Attacking... Heading to Bovatia. Right. We should be able to ambush these guys, I think, in Bovatia. Because look at this. We are moving so flipping fast right now. Our movement speed is ridiculous. And yeah, that's that fleet down there. This force has decided to stay... No, it's not. It is heading north. That is the... Yeah, that's the main Federation fleet. Attacking the Cabbage Liberators. Heading north. Good. Good, 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 good. This is going to work beautifully. So, these guys are now chilling out over here. This force should be moving in momentarily. No, they're backing off. Chase them down. We can outrun them. We can easily outrun them. And if we can just catch them out of position, they are dead. Uh, let's actually just quickly have a little look at the technology we're actually looking at here. So, pick a random ship. Hyperdrive 3, but ion thrusters only 2. And they probably don't have the rapid deployment I've got set up. And their admiral... In fact, they don't have an Admiral, so I've got faster movement speed than them. In short, I can catch them. They cannot outrun me. I can get places faster than they can. I think the fleets are attempting to regroup. You're attacking a star base, so you claim. Hmm. Interesting. You're just basically going to go here, knock out this base. Oh, yeah. Knocking out this base nice and easy. And we're into profit. Good. Right, you, head to here, and then head back. Let's see what you're doing now. Now you're trying to attack the general security fleet. Interesting. So they've basically changed their minds and turned around. This force is... Is it going to struggle to catch these guys? If these guys are retreating, we could catch them, but it's going to take a while. So screw that. Head over here, attack the mega structure. Make sure we've got that locked down here. Uh, so you're heading over there to lock this down. That's okay. We're now up to 45. We can probably, however, start laying additional claims down. Yep, we almost certainly can. Good, 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 good. I've already got all this locked down. Perfect world. I need to lock down here. That's 60. That's 120. Save up. Oh, hello. Is that... No, that's not the main fleet I'm actually interested in, unfortunately. This fleet is just heading to... Yeah, that's the main problem there. The station... So we'll just take them out. They can handle that. Bad Question is, are you actually coming to me right now? Where are you going? You are warping out. Okay. Attacking a star base. And what can I learn from the debris? Nothing major. Small iron disruptor. Nothing major at all. Right. So these guys are just at this point. Oh, yeah. That plasma. That plasma just tears this thing apart. Good. Bad and with that... Your ruined Dyson Sphere belongs to me. And we've got, aha, we have indeed managed the main fleet to get over 
to this station. So, in come the Corvettes, including, of course, the Interceptor classes. The Interceptor classes that are very good at tearing apart shields. This thing is losing strength fast, probably, because we're actually, yep, it shields down. The actual defense platforms are collapsing. Now we've just got to cut through, including, of course... Bear in mind, we've got little warden classes with us here. Now, the plasma is just actually tearing these guys apart. I'm assuming this is going to fall apart. And if we can just get it back online before that fleet returns. No, that fleet is naffing off for good. Right, where does it want to go? Where is this fleet heading at this point? It is... It looks like it's heading to Asari. Okay, or Aswari. Sorry, I'm never going to get that right. Head over there. Let's just see what we can do here. Head up to Quam, because that's the, well, one of only two directions they can go. This area is going to belong to me. Spaceport under attack. And this is the second or rather two times in a row, so third time. I've heard that. Well, I'm not convinced a spaceport is under attack at all, but all right. And we've got zero point reactor impulse thrusters. I think I already know all of that. I might set a science vessel through afterwards just to kind of have a little swing. So what have we got? You're here and you're... Ah! That's what's under attack. Okay. Well, we know what we want to do here. You, head around here. Take care of that. And the Cabbage Liberators can head over towards Aswiri to try and capture the main fleet. The Hurricane Fleet, or rather. Hurricane Fleet is actually... Yeah, that's their Federation fleet. But we'll see what we can do. This war's starting to get interesting. So they're going to take that system back off me. I'm back into Surplus. Thanks to all these territories. They're over here. Have you changed your mind yet? Yes, they have. What are you trying to do? Attacking Starbase. Presumably attacking this Starbase. But that's fine. This Starbase is going to be able to flipping defend itself. Construction complete. Not perfectly, but I'll slap down a defense platform or two just to give it a chance. Just to see what happens next. Where are you going at this point, by the way? They're heading over to Terrell. Fine. They... Are getting themselves boxed in. Actually, uh... station under attack. Okay, no. Let the stations fall. We can recapture them later. Instead, send this force down here to box them in. Send this force back over here to No Docks. Guard No Docks. Kill the fleet with the assistance of their own station. This fleet will be able to box these guys in. Because you are. Are you actually doing this right now? Yep, they're heading back to No Docks. Good. Mm -hmm. We can catch them there, use their own station against them. Now, are you ready to actually warp in? Here we go, yep. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. In fact, actually, just to make sure they don't change their mind, you hold position until they are already in flight. As soon as the warp actual wind-up begins, there we go, good. Right, now, you head over to Nodox, just to make sure they don't change their minds or get cold feet. So, they've taken back Terrell. They are now heading, attacking a star base. Which star base? They're going back over here towards Zule Crow. We can catch them. All right, we can block them in. I'm assuming they're going to Valus. This fleet over here, I like having to manage multiple fleets at once. The new fleet system is excellent. So now we have got ourselves... Yep, yeah, they are now attacking their own citadel. But I have got my forces here too. So in we come and we are getting the flank. So they are going to start disintegrating very quickly. And with the assistance of the actual Citadel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's worked out very nicely. They've managed to warp out a little bit. But we've barely taken any damage. And we've just basically crippled Hurricane Fleet. Which is exactly what I wanted to do. And actually, there is good stuff here. I saw some sort of, like, proton torpedo there. Right, okay. You're presumably heading to Valus right now, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're looping round to Valus, so we can catch their other fleet right there. This is going to work very nicely, and then this fleet can just recapture all of this. Okay, how much influence are we up to, and what can we do in terms of claims as a direct result of that? We already occupy all of this. Obviously, we want to occupy this, because this can then just be... Actually, this would be a nice thing, because this is already upgraded. Hmm... Okay, we are going to be wanting... We're going to be wanting... Uh, there's no planets around here. Yeah, put that down for 60. That's going to cost me 120. Before this war is over, I should try and take that. Um, hmm. Actually, wait, hang on. Did I 
How many planets are there here? Did I bother to bring my, um, you know, transport fleet? Okay. So my transport fleet's over there. So it shouldn't be over there. The transport fleet should instead be over here. Let's just bring the transport... <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine because it's got Hyperdrive 3, all right? It's not going to be as slow as you might think it's going to be. Uh, okay. So this war is being won pretty handily so far. We are definitely doing very, very nicely indeed. We're going to be able to force these guys to... How long is it going to take to force these guys to peace? Actually, we could almost settle the status quo, like, imminently. So this is really working as far as I'm concerned. Uh, where's my nearest science vessel? We may as well bring them in to actually stop. So why are we not... Where are you and where are you trying to go? Yeah, they're coming in now. Good. So they are basically walking straight into a trap. Where is my nearest science vessel? That's not doing anything. Also, don't forget about the colony ship. Where's that? The colony ship needs to go... It can just basically come straight over here. That's fine. So this colony ship can land on... Which world was it? I want to go for the smaller one, actually. I like the smaller world. Uh, the smaller world was this one. Yeah, this one. No, actually, no. I need to go for the big one because I need minerals. Minerals is the priority. This is the minerally world right here. Uh, so this colony ship needs to, yeah, come over to here. Colonize that planet. Now, I would have put it here, but this thing can only collect energy. Obviously, Batherian plant needs to go there. Yes, yeah, screw it. Put it down. Uh, normally I go for energy, but energy's fine. Maybe I go for... Yeah, put it here. Put it down there. That's absolutely fine. And in honor of those who are actually going to be doing the hard work, the Jazajan Sanctuary is going to be what this place is going to be called. Lovely. You want to do research for research? You want some minerals? Go on, have some minerals, you crazy bastards. That was ballsy of you to ask. I admire that. So the fleet has restarted over here. That's Hurricane Fleet, but it's now really, really badly damaged. These guys, hang on. Should we actually, are you moving? Or is Hurricane Fleet just entering the orbit of Hidden Pearl? Yeah, it just wants to actually try and repair itself. So, back off. Actually, we don't need to bother actually with that. Just basically head straight over to them. And let's get their eye view of it. So they're basically trying to get over to here. Firing us a little bit there. We are getting in and we are going to... Yeah, they are starting to try and warp out immediately. They're not all going to be able to escape though. Some of them are going to be destroyed. And that just means better and better. We can actually take out their transport fleet now. So that was a few hundred strength enforcers. Barely any of them have got away at all. Nice. So we've just done some beautiful work there. And yeah, proton launchers. I need to get the science vessels in here. Um, you... Head around here and take... Wait, why do I... I feel like I shouldn't own that system. Go to here, then go to here. Knock out both of those systems just for safety, please. Uh, now, while you're doing that, what's this force going to do? And actually, let's try and catch them while they're weak. So you head to here, then to here. I'm assuming there's no other fleet, to be honest. There's a... Uh, yeah. The other fleets belonging to the other members of the Alliance are too weak to actually do anything. In fact... I have an odd feeling that actually, in theory, like the bird fleet might just be down here trapped behind borders it can't get through and thus has no way to get home. It's weird they haven't rebuilt at all. Right, bringing in the science ships to start actually analysing interesting bits and pieces. And while this fleet is... Oh, right, we've well, just been destroyed. I'm just going straight in. I'm going in for the big hit right now. Let's just quickly, yeah, we're going to get caught in the middle of some of this. One of their reinforcement ships just gets destroyed. This station's going to go down before it can do anything to actually contribute. And then we're going to go straight over to this fleet. That fleet's trying to get away. Do not let them escape. Get after them, I think. Hang on. Attacking star base. I think, yeah, look at the speed. Look at the speed of this force. You're not going anywhere at this point. The rapid speed of the fleet. That's the new king. You've got to just be as fast as possible. And they're already damaged. They did not have time to repair up. So as a result, ships are falling out of the sky. Life is looking good here. Life is looking good. This war is going very, very well indeed. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of force over there. But, yeah. We have got all this under occupation. We're getting the minerals from it. They are not. This is all going very well. Right. Uh, you knock out this. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Why can you not? Ah, they've got an FTL inhibitor on these planets. 
Got it. With the FTL inhibitor installed, presumably on what, on this base? On the stronghold, perhaps? I'm not sure. With that installed, I can't leave the system for any way other than the way I came in. Which is a little bit on the annoying side. Right, well, you've already cleared out all of this. Hmm. How about you? Yeah. You in that case go to No, 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 no. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> do not do that. Uh, right, so instead, move to here, to here, then to here. You go and clear them out via that route. Okay, what else is going to be there? You, meanwhile, head over here, knock out this system, and then we'll start laying some claims down. In fact, actually, you appear to have not... Did you just bypass this system? Huh, apparently so. You must have just ever so slightly skirted around the edge of this thing. Take that out first, and then we'll see what we got left. Because, in theory, I'm probably willing to call it... Oh, the mandate of Sog has ceased to exist. I think they were eaten by... Mandate of Sog. Oh, I see them there. Oh, okay. They've just not been there anymore. Right, well... As well as... Ah, yeah, the successor states are still just battering each other for a little bit as well. What have we got? Migration Treaty. Oh, gladly, my Roman friends. Very, very gladly indeed. And the... Oh, the Athari. Oh, two doomed kingdoms that I'm in the process of smashing. Marvellous. Because, yeah, it looks to me like the remnants of Hurricane have now made it over here. So we need to knock out all the bases that are located in this area. Yeah, you're just trying to get to that station to repair up. We need to knock out any and all stations on this side of their empire. Otherwise, their fleets can just keep reappearing. That's what we need to actually do here. So, that's why I want this knocked out as well. Then we can also just take this. Uh, let's just quickly turn on the actual symbols. Yeah, I feel like we're doing a good job right now. I'm happy with this. Go over to claims. Uh, what do I need to claim that I've not already claimed? Well, there's all this down here. That I could try and claim. Mm. No, my priority should be the 120 there. There's the 120 here as well. Maybe I say they can still have one system over here. They can keep Gatria. And then when the war restarts next time, we're ready to just move in and take that incredibly quickly. That's probably fine. You... Move up to here while this force moves around here to intercept that. But, to be honest, yeah, I wouldn't mind them. I would like to take Gatria. Especially as Gatria... Actually, Gatria's got two worlds on it. This, however, has... That's got one world on it. And one world that's already been bombed recently. So, presumably... Actually, it's still got some strength. That's a decent amount of strength right there. Uh, right, joining around here. Hostile fleet present. Oh, hello! Right... Who's managed to sneak up the back of me here? Aha! You, you sneaky bastards. You came in over here. That's fine. You, heading this way, intercept them. Uh, so change your direction. That's fine. You'll be able to catch them before they get out of there. Meanwhile, this fleet is going to head in over here. That station's just going to collapse in no time at all. I think there was actually a ship here that's gone. My main fleet is just going to tear this apart. And yeah, that's fine. It's given up. And a new federation. Well, this is interesting. The Pithox and the Ganvius. Right, but hang on. This Ganvius. Well, okay. Bit of an interesting one. Fine. Uh, okay. Back over here. Right, so they decided to take that out and then are trying to immediately retreat. They're not going to be able to retreat. My force is too fast. With scout and rapid deployment, yeah, they don't stand a chance of getting away. Screw you. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. We will pin them down momentarily. And there we go. Gotcha. So this is going to be another battering to their fleet right now. And in we go. The Corvettes just swarm them. They're going to try and warp out a little bit. But way too much damage has been done. Nice. Yeah, we need to leave a small force here. Otherwise, they're going to keep just going round and round and round in circles. How do we guard against this force? There's White Crush here. Ooh. So, the Figyar have finally figured out where their fleet is. Or rather, I figured out where it is. 6,000 strength right there. Interesting. And what have we got? That's just... Ooh. Okay. A few bits and pieces there. Which are not bad at all. You. Get back over here. Yeah, just get into orbit for the time being. Let's have a little look-see. 
at these bastards and are they coming? Oh my! They've decided they want to do this! Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So you've managed to knacker them. Uh, can you also just... No, just head over here, please. Head over... Why is this station not woken up yet? Okay, whenever it wakes up, immediately shoot it with something. And here come the stupid bastards now. Including backup from their own station. So, yeah, my fleet is just going to tear this apart. There is the force of the figure. Turns out they actually still had... Like, 5,000, 6,000 odd strength, but we are knackering it at this point. So that's going to fall apart in seconds. My fleet's still looking pretty good. And once all this is dead, we can actually finish off their transport fleets too. Very, very nice indeed. They are trying to get away. Uh, good luck with that, because you don't have such a good ability to warp out. You just have to wait for the generic retreat option. And you managed to hit it, but... Lovely. So... That is pretty much their fleets crushed. Lovely. And also, those guys want me to be flipping associate status of your... No, because your flipping federation is silly and ridiculous. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I say, let them take Gatria. I need to loop around here to take out... Or, no. No, I don't. What I need to do is... If I could bombard Gatria to actually take its worlds, then I'd be in good shape. The main fleet can hold here. The actual, yeah, the transport fleets are ready to go. That's probably what we need to do at this point. We just need to take those worlds. And that will also give me enough time to save up the influence to actually, yeah, claim these worlds for good. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. We will wrap up. The first stage of this war versus those bastard, treacherous starfish who did whatever it was they did that caused me to betray them. And once that's done, ooh, we are going to have in our empire an actual natural wormhole. I don't know where that one goes, if it's even been opened before. Because I know there's, there's an open one, I think, over here. Or rather, I've not explored it, but they have. And that's the one that leads down here. So we might just open up a brand new little shortcut in the galaxy. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Stellaris. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh. I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.